Don't worry, guys. The Zerg Scout doesn't stand a chance against that immortal. What a what immortal? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Frank, would you quit your darn typing? Is it really loud? Yes, man. It's like you're in my head. I don't hear anything from the stream, so I really don't know. I just hear you through the Skype call. I apologize. What's that, 23, 24 episodes now you've ruined? Yep. It's Nick's fault for telling my wife to buy this keyboard. Not, nope. Yes, she Nick told your to wife buy to herself. buy you a gaming keyboard, and it's his fault. <laughs> it's Nick's fault. She Enough! Eats brown peas. Brown peas. eating the poop soup? Soup. Guys, welcome to episode 23 of Esports Canada TV. I am your host, uh, Half in the Bag, Quinn of the Net. I am joined by my two lesser mortal selves, at ESC Jovian and at ESC Songers, Frank Ricci and Nick Song, respectively. Gentlemen, how are you doing this evening? Thank you for acknowledging me, John. I feel privileged. He, he mentioned me after you again. <laughs> it's always like this. It's just a ladder, bro. It's just a ladder. Every single time. It's the uh, bamboo ceiling. <laughs> the bamboo <laughs> ceiling. I Man, just can't just, get higher. Just looking at these overlays right now, I I butchered these so bad. <laughs> these are really bad. I feel awful. Are they not straight on purpose? No, yeah, that's, that's not. Better. Your that's fault. better. Where's one's Frank? I don't need to fix this. I apologize, William. We will get to you in a few short seconds. I swear this happens every episode. This is this is a good show. Good show already. I can tell. There we go. Oh, I see it. He's moving. I just need to fix Frank, but not really. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Chat, okay. just, uh, you can tweet at me at Quinn of the Net and let me know that I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> Matt, I Matthew quit. Morin thinks you're doing just fine. <laughs> is Matthew Morin in the chat? He is here, yeah. DJ McTwist. Oh, uh, DJ McTwist, great intro. Thank you, DJ McTwist. Uh, yes, episode 23, guys. We have a very special episode tonight because we have a huge... Canadian event going on coming up March 1st through 3rd. You can see the beautiful little logo. That's really hard to figure out where to way I'm pointing. Right down in that bottom right hand corner. Uh, yep. Lane ETS is coming up at the beginning of March. Huge event in Montreal. And we have the man behind the scenes, the organizer of Lane ETS, William Execute Le Francois. How is my French on that, William? I'm doing great, and you guys, and by the way, I'm not the only man behind oh, the I, event. <laughs> you're the only man on the show, which means you're the only man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it would be impossible I to be alone Rihanna to do this event. <laughs> welcome, William. Yes, welcome. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get started with the easy questions. Um, how did you get involved with eSports, William, and how did you come to be one of the organizers of LAN ETS? Uh, well, I mean, like everyone, I guess I just started playing video games with console, like the original Nintendo, uh, PlayStation, first Xbox, and eventually I started playing on computer. I was playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty 1 and 2 in the past, and you know, they, we had a lot of LAN parties in uh, Quebec, like uh, LAN ETS, of course, uh, Pearland, uh, ACL, uh, Corlan, and many more. And uh, I was going to all those events, uh, playing Call of Duty 1 and 2. And when Call of Duty 4 got out, I was like, mm, no, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> I stopped playing and uh, eventually, you know, started playing World of Warcraft. I got trapped by the game. Oh. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah, I've missed a lot of people, and uh, you know, and now I'm at the university, Ecole Technologie Supérieure. It's an engineering university in Montreal, and like at my second year there, I joined the LAN ETS organization, and that's it. Now it's my second year at LAN ETS, mm. and uh, you know, I joined the club uh, last year. It was the tenth anniversary, so it was a big event. Mm -hmm. And I think it was a good way to start. <laughs> a lot of fresh. Uh, a good one to have is your first uh, first event. 
So yeah. you, you work now behind the scenes as an organizer along with a, a giant team. I think uh, we were talking to you earlier, you said you had upwards of 90 or something volunteers for the entire weekend? Yeah, well, the way it works is we have all the executive members. So this year we are around, I think, 12 people or 13, something like that. And um, if you count all the volunteers that, uh, that are helping us during the weekend, we are um, like 80 or 90 people. So it's a big organization and we need all the, uh, the help from uh, the volunteers. It would be impossible. Because yeah, yeah we are like twelve uh, executive member, but we have like one thousand gamers this year. So. <laughs> no, we we know a thing or two about volunteers. <laughs> uh, so before you got involved with Lane ETS, I know you said you you ventured to all these lands. You were playing games. Were you involved as well um, back then, helping out with different lands, or was Lane ETS your first kind of foray into the scene? Uh, the first land I helped with is the Pure Land because uh, we have what we call a CEGEP in Quebec. Yep. There's no equivalent in, uh, you know, in Ontario as to that, but uh, there was a land, it was the Pearl land I helped in the last edition of this land. And after that, I joined the land ETS. Huh. Okay. Nice. So, so, oh, I'm gonna go on with the next question. So the first land that you had, um, I guess, a land ETS was about 200 people. I remember you telling us the first land that they ever had. Um, and now you're expecting up to 1,000 people, which is amazing. Um, did you ever expect, like, uh, or when you knew about land ETS, expect it to grow as large as it is now? Well, uh, like in 2004, 2006, I went to a land ETS as a player. It was something like, I don't remember exactly, 400. In 2006, it was 450 people maybe right. last year it was 900 people mm -hmm. and <laughs> this year 1000 oh. but i think we have reached like i mean it's hard to find more place so i mean i'm not surprised because there's a lot of there's a, a lot of gamers in quebec and uh, i think they need an event like an ets to compete to have a chance to win money, uh, show themselves to sponsors, all that stuff. And uh, no, I'm not surprised. We have a lot of support from the sponsors, uh, a lot of uh, organization. Uh, it's a really great event. Um, is there any, so you're saying that you basically reached your limit or something. Is it really, so is this basically, you guys are happy that it's grown to about a thousand people? Uh, is there any idea that maybe it'll get uh, even to a larger event or break off into its own thing independent of the school, perhaps? Hmm. Well, you know, we have the limit with the school. I mean, there's a lot of security concern. You can, you're not, maybe there's a way to pack 2,000 people, but, you know, it's impossible. <laughs> you need space to move, so it's impossible to do it. But, uh of course, we have some discussions sometime with other organization, you know, to do something maybe bigger, but right now nothing serious enough. So we will see in the future. I think, I think we have enough gamers in Quebec and Canada to do something bigger than 1,000 people. Yeah. Well, I, I think, think you guys... not a problem. Yeah, I think you guys are definitely forging ahead. You're really showing, uh, showing Canada what lands are capable of. So I exactly. think you guys are doing a wonderful job. And even seeing the floor plan that you guys have out on your website, it looks like you've done some great job spacing and making sure there's space to breathe and there's space to play. So that's always good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, speaking, speaking of the website, I do want to jump in because you guys have a fantastic website in terms of being able to book your ticket, seeing the whole floor plan, mm -hmm. um, being able to see that, okay, I'm sitting with my group of friends. Oh, wait, my other friend just joined up. Okay, there's a free seat here. He should take that one. I know. I switched around seats a couple times as more people joined in and we found blocks of, okay, here's five seats that we can sit here. Um, that whole design of the site where you, once you have your ticket, you can go and pick your seat is A1. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's all done by a student at the Ecole de Technologie Supérieure. They joined the, the organization, the LAN NTS, and you know, everyone has a talent. Some it's more website, others maybe logistic. Uh, some people are more are better with words to communicate with sponsors. So, you know, it's 
it's the website you see it's work from many people uh, in Lani TS uh, they did a great job I think we have a good system to book your ticket choose your seat could be more perfect but you know it's we're working on it maybe one day it will be perfect and uh, by the way I see a lot of questions from the fans and I will take some question later yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna copy them all down into our document, <laughs> and we can read them out after. Everyone, you're gonna answer everyone. You're not going home until they're all answered. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the Sunny Hicks yeah. AMA. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask, actually, maybe it makes sense to um, ask this question about. There's founding members who started Lanny TS, and I believe that they're retired now. Is that correct? Well, retired is a big term. <laughs> They're still coming at the MM. So they, do they still come to just enjoy it now, or are they still right in their planning? Well, you know, there's a transition. So the old members just left the, the organization because, I mean, they move on. They have a job, a family, but they're still helping. I mean, the guy was doing the network five years ago. He's still helping. He's sharing awesome. a knowledge with the new members. and. They're not doing uh, the same amount of work as before, but they're still there helping, having fun. I mean, yeah. I think now they're more enjoying the event. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when they don't the have to be execution. so stressed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The executive members right now, we have maybe more stress. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. You got to make something awesome and then enjoy, reap the benefits afterwards. <laughs> so good on them. Um, so I'm sure there's lots of people across Canada, maybe people who attend schools who think to themselves, man, I really want to enjoy a land, something like land ETS, obviously on a smaller scale at the start, but maybe they don't know how to get it started. So um, maybe from your experiences, what are some considerations that people may not think of? Like, what are some things when you go to uh, school uh, organizations that you have to tell them, you know, this is the kind of thing we're doing. What are some challenges that you might face trying to organize something like this at a school? Well, I think first you need support from the school. It's very important because, I mean, you need the room, you need all the space you can get. And just that, it's a big problem first. And you need the electricity. So <laughs> you need to make sure you have enough uh, electric power. You can say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it, an event with uh, 500 people. And you have a, just have the electricity for 200. So mm. it's not a good way to plan your, your event. So first, you need a venue, I mean, the space for the people. You need the, enough electricity. And you need internet. If you don't have those three things, <laughs> you're screwed from the beginning. <laughs> That's all you need, the electricity, space, and internet, what? guys. And no, I mean, internet is important because all games are played online, Battle.net, uh, League of Legends. Uh, it's, you, you need internet. Was not, I mean, in the past, you could just host your own LAN server and, uh, oh, internet explodes. Oh, okay, it's okay. We have the LAN server, no right. problem. But right. now it's not the same thing. It's true, true. So you need a lot of planning. You need a good team. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need good people of passion for that. Uh, it's not like just, oh, yeah, we're going to put one hour a week in that project. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pass all your free time on the, the event. It takes a lot of time. And even us, who, I mean, we have some experience, and it takes a lot of time, like, uh, to, uh, Organizing LAN ETS this year, we started in September. Yeah. Wow. That's the way it works. You have wow. a reunion each two weeks, each week now. So you need a lot well, it's of It's like planning a wedding. And then as you get closer <laughs> to the day, it yeah, just exactly. gets more and more. It, it's, I think it's expensive, it's just like the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, so, do you know where the first LAN ETS was held in the school at um, ETS? Do you know like which room it was in? Was it like a small lecture theater? Uh, was it I the think same place? It was the same uh, on the first floor. It was the same oh, place, okay. I think. In so, Mike, if you don't yeah, know, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, if you look at the first floor, it was there. It just was like 200 people. So, not the same quality of seats. And <laughs> That's great. Much smaller. So I'm just going to drop a part of the Swarm Keys on the Let's chat because it. I promise. And it's a gift from Cyberactive. So thank you, Cyberactive, for Woo. that. Oh. So I'm going to drop one. Oh, 
Oh, uh, if you claim it, guys, it make first. sure you message. Yeah, message us if you claim it so that other people aren't frantically trying to add it in and getting the uh, no, it's already. Right, so Who's the, the fastest guy on copy paste? Oh. <laughs> Somebody's got to get the. You should have posted it, and then I should have banned you immediately after, so it disappeared. <laughs> oh no, another <laughs> one. Oh, oh he's geez, dropping. he's dropping. He's like like coming down fast, guys. Oh, okay, it's enough, it's enough. Let's continue. <laughs> we also have. Well, we have five keys left, Frank, to give away. Um, I think four. Four? Okay. Oh, are you trying to outdo him, John? No, I'm just saying oh, as sure. well for our <laughs> lovely viewers. Hey, oh, we're friends, sure. all right. Enemies, we friends. are not. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have keys. If we want to drop some after he's done, we can drop some more. Yeah, we'll also it's drop keys. It's not even this is actually really deal. exciting. I like to see people <laughs> fight awesome. with keys. <laughs> um, William, keys. so when when you've been hosting and you've been running LAN ETS, um, there must have been things that have gone wrong before. So in your mind, what was the worst thing that has ever happened at an event that you've been planning? Well, you know, I heard a lot of these. <laughs> story from a previous member of the organization and uh, let me think uh, uh, in 2010 yeah in 2010 we had a problem with uh, the internet so I mean like the it was the main switch something like that or the main rod or some I don't remember exactly but there was too much traffic on the network and I mean the switch just catch on fire <laughs> totally. And the problem is, I mean, it's the internet service provider. Mm -hmm. So you can do any, There's nothing to do. You need to wait for a replacement. And <laughs> wait you need, the fires go away. Just like just yeah. burning. <laughs> you need, I mean, you need the internet. We are in 2010, so we have Battle.net this right. time. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to do. So if I remember correctly, we canceled the StarCraft II tournament and the top players, uh, they split the the prizes, something like that. It's, it was a strange year for that, <laughs> that problem. I feel like everyone was just shouting, we want land. <laughs> yeah, there, there's like nothing to do. You're just, oh, we're screwed. Let's <laughs> just hide in the corner and wait for the event to end. <laughs> so... Uh, William, did you come to NASL Season 3? Did you happen to come to that event in Toronto? Uh, no. No? Okay. So on, in some Reddit posts, um, I saw people talking about how they would have really liked it if uh, some of the sponsors for the event were actually present so that you could go and maybe buy, like, uh, you know, a Steel Series mouse pad and then go and have um, In Control sign it right then and there. It was something that they thought would be really awesome. I think at LAN ETS, you guys do have sponsors live on scene, right? Yeah, we, uh, this last year we had a lot of sponsors, and uh, I mean, one of the oldest sponsors, it's a CIPC, they're a PC retailer in Montreal, and each year they bring, they have a table, and they, they're they selling a lot of stuff, so for example, I mean, you forgot your mouse, uh, oh, you broke your headset, uh, whatever, wow. they have replacement for you, and uh, they have good prizes also, I mean, it's... It's the prices are better sometimes than if you know we're not gonna name the store in Montreal, but uh, other <laughs> stores. <laughs> the nearest uh, competitor. Yeah, exactly. Stables. And uh, no, <laughs> that's a horrible choice. <laughs> Isn't and, it uh, the bureau something? Like, no. Yeah, bureau en gros. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And uh, this year we're gonna have uh, Plantronics Gamecom. They have a boot, a CIPC, a Cooler Master, Corsair. So we're going to have some sponsor. Just like last year, you can talk to them. They they have getaway giveaway sometime. Oh, that's a nice I won keyboard. This. I won this at the last <laughs> LAN ETS, and their competitions are so much fun. Like for one of these, what they did was they had these keyboards and they had all the keys taken out. You had to go on stage and put the yeah. keys back in well, as fast uh, as you could. That, and, that was my idea. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how awesome. they got behind this. Wait, wow, you've this been to LAN ETS before, Nick? Yeah, I went last year. Wow. It was great. I had no idea. Best and time of my life. This That's year, we're cute. still gonna do a lot of activities and mm -hmm. fun stuff like that. I mean, we need to have fun. It's not just like, hey, you want a keyboard? Take it. No, you have Back to do fun. something for it. <laughs> we, want to, we want to have some fun watching <laughs> others. <laughs> 
that's really cute that his uh, his idea actually landed in Nick's hand. And look at us now on this show. It's, it's really it's a really small world. Um, I wanted to ask. So you said that you have sponsors on site offering awesome things, right? Is it possible that I buy a bring your own computer ticket and buy my computer at the event? Uh, let me think. Ooh, Do that's... we have everything? Do mm. we have the technology? <laughs> well, there's a possibility that uh, CIPC have all the pieces you need, but yeah, maybe for one or two computer, but not like 10, 20 computer. Oh. So I if know. all 900 tickets do it, that's not a good but, idea? <laughs> last year, last year, a guy came to the event and was like, "Yeah, can I get a PC? Uh, what are you talking about? It's a BYUC event. Uh, I have no PC." <laughs> oh, it's bring your own computer. I thought it was buy yeah. your own computer. <laughs> no, 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 it's break it's your, bring own computer. your own computer. <laughs> so oh, was like, "Yeah, what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, it's not like we are having." Like, 20 spare computer here. We need all the computers for something. <laughs> <laughs> yep, what's special for him? Uh, William, I want to hark back to when you were mentioning uh, planning for the event started in September. How do you go about picking the titles that you guys are going to be representing at your LAN? I mean, um, you start planning in September, obviously picking games and start advertising those and going after sponsors is one of the first steps, but I mean, when the event's five, six months down the road and with titles being so volatile, I mean, look at D3 came out and no one after a month was playing that. How do you decide on a title and make sure that five, six months down the road it's going to be relevant? Yeah, well, you know, we have a lot of reunion and the way we work normally is first we choose three games. So, I mean, that's what we call the three major tournament. We know we're going to have a lot of gamers uh, registering for this. So like this year it was League of Legends, StarCraft 2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So those were the three main tournament. Then we make uh, a vote on our forum so people can vote. There's a list of five or six games and everyone's voting and we check the result and we make the big decision of which tournament we're going to add. Normally, we add only one tournament from this uh, this pool, but this year we made an exception and added two tournaments. It was uh, Dota 2 and uh, Team Fortress 2. Nice. And of course, you have the console games. We have a classic, which is the NHL hockey game this year, <laughs> NHL That's awesome 2013. And uh, we have a Super Street Fighter 4, Montreal Street Fighter. It's an organization in Montreal. Nice guys, so they're helping us a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, that's the way we choose the game. And, I mean, it's it's our decision for us because we know it's, a, it's, it's an important choice. Like, you know, choosing between, for example, Dota 2 and Team Fortress 2. There's a big, there's a lot of talk, and finally we said, let's put the two games, that's it. Let's do something new this year. And do you find the feedback from the community is usually pretty good when you do release the, the game titles, or is there sort of well, an outcry of why didn't you pick this game, I'm banning your tournament all the you know, s You know, sometime you, you, you choose a game from the pool you do, and uh, nobody subscribed to it, so it happens. But just last last year, for example, League of Legion was not a main tournament. Mm -hmm. They won the vote on the forum, oh. and we saw like 250 vote for the game, and we thought, yeah, really, 250 people never. There will be like 100, and finally there were like 200, almost 300 people. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're like, oh my god, that was not expected. <laughs> Especially for such a terrible game for children. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. I'm kidding. I play it. <laughs> uh, Hydralis in the chat asks, uh, why does Montreal and Quebec have such a passionate competitive gaming community? Nowhere else in Canada, uh, Toronto or Vancouver, etc. Has there ever been a land to the scale of land ETS? Outside of Quebec? Yeah, just why do you think Montreal and Quebec has such a passionate um, competitive gaming community? Uh, well, if you go back like five years ago or six years ago, we had many LAN parties. 
as I said at the beginning, like LANETS, PureLAN, ACL, CoreLAN. Now it's more limited, but it's it's going on again. There's new event going, and I I think we have a lot of gamers uh, because of I mean LANETS help a lot. I mean we do an event each year. It keeps everyone in the game in the esports community together and. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly why we have that much play gamers. Like right now in Quebec, I think League of Legion is getting very big. There's a big community for League of Legion. It's amazing the number of people that register to our tournament. But you know, we're trying to help other organization to create an event like uh, expand their LAN, their LAN events, but it's not always easy because at the Ecole Energy Spare we have a lot of support from the university. Mm -hmm. But when you go to another university in Montreal, they want to do a LAN party, it's not the same thing. Maybe the university is like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a kid project, it's just kid playing video games. So I think that's the difference. Uh, the chat does bring up a good point. Um... Go Fireman mentions Fragapalooza in Edmonton. Do you think there's a direct correlation between how many Stanley Cups your city wins and how big <laughs> the land can be, with Montreal being the most superior hockey team of all time and <laughs> the Oilers having their uh, Stanley Cup run through the 80s? Well, <laughs> and yeah, I also uh, someone was saying that chat, uh, doing a land outside in a university is very, co it's cost a lot of money. Uh, it's true. It's true because you have the space and infrastructure at a school. Also, the reason why we have the biggest LAN right now, I think, is because this, the engineering students from the Ecole Energy Superior, they are the best. Mm. That's <laughs> the reason why. Number That's one. it. I'm going to ask my cousins if they went to that school. i got to find <laughs> out. Uh, this question sort of got answered in chat, but I want you to um, let everyone know. Um, people were asking about purely <clears throat> spectator passes for the event. Um, are these available? Can people show up and just come and see? Uh, you can uh, you can go to the event uh, for free as a visitor. We call it visitor, not spectator. But between 8 a.m. and uh, 6 p.m., I believe. No, it's 7.30 a.m. and uh, 6 p.m. You can go to the LAN ETS, walk inside, visit the event, uh, take a look at what's happening. Uh, I mean, look at the games on the big screens, and uh, it costs nothing to do that. Oh, but between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. during the night, you're not able to be inside the event. You need a ticket. So okay. the way it is, you need at least a guest pass. So it's $10. This way you can stay all uh, 24 hours and 24. Uh, you have access to dormitory. Uh, I mean, a shower, etc. So that's the way it works. Good. Um, I want to ask, how much, like, over over time, has Land ETS kind of absorbed smaller lands in the area? Is there like collaboration with other maybe upstart groups in the area, or has it always been Land ETS has been its uh, like its own thing, isolated, or, or do you actually work with uh, other groups and coordinate with them? Uh, we never absorb any land. I mean, there's collaboration. Uh, we know a lot of people from another organization. It's the Pearl Land. We know them very well. Uh, I mean, we already talk with people from uh, Polybash. Uh, I mean, we know a lot of events. And for example, if I remember well, LAN ETS, it started in 2002, but before that, there was another LAN in Montreal, and those guys helped LAN ETS oh. with their oh. first event. So basically, there was already collaboration at this time. Yes. I think it's and, really important, anyways. Yeah, and our, I mean, our goal is not to you know, eliminate events. I think the best, we want a lot of events in, uh, in Quebec and Canada. I mean, we help each year uh, World Cyber Game. We help them with their event in Montreal. And it's, I mean, it's collaboration. And uh, if people want help, they can contact us, and we can get, give them some tips. Oh, that's awesome! I'm just imagining for some reason a mom and pop land that's like, ah, oh, that land ETS is so big, we can't compete. 
And then they have to put up the close sign on their door. No big. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're, for example, uh, two hours uh, away from LAN ETS, I mean, it's, it's not, it's different. I mean, people from uh, Quebec uh, City, they have to travel to uh, two hours and a half to come to LAN ETS. So if you do a LAN in Quebec, maybe it's not real competition, it's different, it's another place, so. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of pressure when you do annual events like this um, of trying to make it bigger and better every year. With this being the 11th anniversary of Lane ETS, what do you have in store to, to make it the biggest and best one yet? Well, we have more seats, more of uh, bring your own computer seats. We'll be uh, over 900 seats. Uh, I mean, we have more tournaments this year, five PC tournament, more money to win. Over seventeen thousand dollar wow. to win. Last year it was fifteen thousand, so we increased the prize pool. We have a lot of new activities. Uh, this year we have, of course, a lot of sponsor again, a lot of prizes. I mean, last year it was was an amazing year. Like we had something like one hundred twenty headsets to give. Oh, wow. uh, I mean, this year uh, we are going to have a lot of stuff also to give away. Uh, sponsor are very generous with us. And uh, of course, we have some surprise for people, but I'm not going to say everything. <laughs> what? You got to be you there for the show. Don't spoil everything for the show. Come on. <laughs> maybe, maybe we have a gift for everyone. I don't know. A key, a code, something like that. Yeah, Whoa, oh my God. key to a car. You heard it here first. Guys. You're giving cars to every attendant. <laughs> when you show up, the parking lot's going to be full, and then he's going to come out like Oprah Winfrey and give out keys to everyone. We're like, wow. Yeah, and you get a key. Yeah. You get a key. This, this year we have something new. It's a uh, Twitch uh, streaming. So we're going to stream the League of Legends tournament, uh, StarCraft II tournament, and Counter Strike Global Offensive tournament. In HD on Twitch, French and English. Mm. Wow. Both. So you will be able to follow the event at home if you don't have a ticket. Sorry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I know it was probably disappointing, and I'm. It, I imagine it was a budgeting um, problem. But why did you pick Nick and Frank to cast StarCraft? I mean, obviously that was kind of awesome. a low point in the history of Lane ETS. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, uh, I was looking at some casting on the net, and I saw Esport Canada. I found their stream uh, very good, and I said, hey, I'm going to contact them, see if they want to cast in a little land in Canada, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're just sucking up. <laughs> John's just mad. John's <laughs> mad nobody has him to production. Yeah, sorry, I have just two seats for uh, casting, not That's three. Fine. <laughs> I work under the table. <laughs> There's a double meeting in there. But uh, we have a lot of uh, casters from, uh, I mean, the other casters, they have a lot of experience in uh, different leagues, so it's going to be awesome. This yeah, year. I heard it's really fun from previous casters as well. Like, everybody everybody talks very fondly about Lane ETS, and everybody who's gone basically says it's the time of their life, so I'm absolutely excited to go, <laughs> so I'm really happy that we got the chance well, to yeah. I think that's the key of our organization, you know, when you talk to sponsor, they're going to say they're so a friendly group. I mean, we are serious, but at the same time, we're having fun with this project. I mean, we're volunteers too, so sponsor yeah. like, it's great because when you go to a big event, people is all, all people are serious uh, and always talking business and us, we're like, hey, uh, calm down, there's no problem, uh, let's <laughs> grab a beer. Uh, yeah. Let's go on the other side of the school, grab a beer, let's talk. <laughs> I love the free free spirit. That's awesome. What are the nice. what are the goals for LAN ETS going forward from um, year eleven? I mean what do you do you guys kind of look for that fire where it's imagine one day that we can do this? Uh, can you repeat the night of this the, your question? Um, Sorry. Going forward, um, this is the 11th year. What do you guys yeah. have in store for year 12, 13, 14, 15? I mean, is there one is there one sort of thing where it's you guys keep saying, "I really wish we could do this one day. I really wish that we can get to the point where we can have, you know, 20,000 people that show up." <laughs> is there that one goal in mind that you all have? 
Yeah, that's a lot of logistic. I mean, <laughs> 1,000 1, people is a problem. 20,000 is a, I'm not going to say the word, but it's a beep problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we're trying to expand because just this year, I mean, we sold more than 900 uh, BYUC tickets. And I mean, we still have people looking for tickets. We want to expand the event, get more seats, but you know, it's a process that each year we're looking at with the Ecole Technologie Superior. We're looking at a way to get more seats. So maybe next year we'll have more seats, maybe not. We will see. And I mean, if we want to expand it to 10,000 people, 20,000 people, we need to go outside the Ecole yeah. Technologie Superior, of course. You mean you need to go somewhere like Palais des Congrès in Montreal, place like that. Centre Bell. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think Centre Bell you will be limited to with the the ice surface. Maybe the Olymp Olympic Stadium. Wow. Something like that. So. Yo. But they, I, I'm not. I don't know if we have enough gamer for twenty thousand. But you know, you need to try it to know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Um, I have a question. Were the first few LAN ETS, were they just students only, or has it always been open to the public? Do you happen to know? Uh, the first one, uh, it's not, it was always open to everyone, and we still have students from the Ecole Tégé Supérieure, of course. I mean, we have a lot of people from the university, but I mean, I think that's what's great with the LAN ETS. It's open to everyone. Yeah. So you don't need to qualify or something like that. You, you want to show how good you are, you come to LAN ETS and you beat everyone. That's the way it works. Yeah, um, I think that's one of the challenges that some people do find when they organize events like this at their schools or universities, is that many universities have a policy, especially at the start, that says only you know the students from this school can attend. Um, I think it takes time to build up that, you know, trust and so that they can see that this could then turn into something bigger and better for them to start saying, yes, you can bring in other people. So if you're, I guess, if you're in Canada and you want to make an event, uh, do talk to your faculty, though, because schools like LAN ETS seem to have been open from the start. Uh, but if your school doesn't really let you from the start open it up to the public, just build that rapport. Do it with your school yeah. and then get bigger and bigger. Yeah, into exactly. It's the way to go. I mean, you need to start small. Start start if you don't have any experience, I mean, it's better to start small with 50 people, I don't know, 100 maybe. You see how it goes and then you expand. Yeah. That's the way it works. <laughs> Make exactly. base, then expand. <laughs> Make That's it. it. Don't get exactly. your, don't your expo too early. <laughs> Fantastic. Good one, Nick. Good well, one. William, uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that is my personal favorite, the lightning round. Uh, but I will give you the chance to say some last words if you want to promote. If you have anything coming up at all, you're probably not very busy. Um, if there's anything <laughs> going on that we should know about, like a big event or anything, uh, feel free to plug that now, your Twitter, your Facebook, where we can follow you personally and everyone at Lane ETS. <laughs> Well, you know, the only thing I have to say is uh, thanks for all the viewers. Uh, oh, I have another key. I forgot. Oh, <laughs> oh another key. And uh, I would like to thank ETS University, of course, uh, all the sponsors. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, ETS. We have Cisco this year again. I mean, best network equipment in the world. S from Cisco, we have a CIPC. They help us a lot this year. They're going to provide the PC for streaming. So thanks to CIPC. We have Plantronics, a lot of headset this year. Asus, Music Plus, uh, Cooler Master, Mad Cats. Wow. Uh, we have uh, Balls, of course, <laughs> coming back this year. Uh, we have Twitch, we have Think Geek, Packet Fans, Extreme Gaming Quebec, Techni Production. More music, uh, Montreal Street Fighter, and we have a lot of department at the ETS University, uh, Student as Association, and maybe I'm forgetting something. And uh, 
There's too much people to thank. And it was just, wow. <laughs> a lot of people making esports exactly. happen. Yeah, you did exactly. your best, and we commend you on that. And of course, everyone from the organization, uh, everyone for LAN ETS working with me. If you could um, name the 90 volunteers in alphabetical order, uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll wait. We are patient oh. here. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> I don't remember the name Nothing against the volunteers. We all love volunteers. We're volunteers ourselves. Yeah, of course, the volunteers. I mean, without them, gonna be impossible. <laughs> There's too much things to do during the event. I love it. Esports is one of those things where you need volunteers to do it, but you have so many people who want to do this, so it works so beautifully right now in its infancy. So uh, I'm sure all those volunteers are so excited to go. Uh, anyways. Exactly. Hey, yeah. I have one question before we go into the lightning round. Oh, is is the chili still gonna be there? Yes, it's gonna be yes. there again. <laughs> I was so addicted to that chili when I was there. I think I ate like twenty bowls or something. Oh, I was yeah. farting all night. But anyways, okay. <laughs> it's gonna is there be just back. like random chili at the event? No, no, they have they have food there, right? And yeah. then it's like they they have chili and it's amazing. It's like crack. Yeah, it's so very they good. Sell so very well. I like chips. Yes. <laughs> I will yes. try this table chili. Uh, I will try your chili, Gypsy. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. William LeFrancois, a.k.a. Execute from Land ETS. Uh, it is your time. The gods have spoken, and the lightning oh. round is upon you. Yeah, I saw this game on previous stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's been getting harder, so you couldn't have prepared. It's a really good lightning strike. You guys can't hear it, but it sounded really good. Oh, I good. also have some music for this week. It's wow. It only took us 23 Hopefully tries. Hopefully this doesn't cost us our Twitch uh, money making. I use this theme. So who <laughs> wants to be a millionaire theme? <laughs> Just good background oh, no. music. All right, William. Ten skill testing questions that will take you to the top of the mountain and back. You will be physically exhausted, I promise. The lightning round. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Question number one. Poutine or Montreal smoked meat? Uh, that's a hard choice. <laughs> that's not that's wrong. That's a wrong question. I'm gonna go with the poutine. I have to go with the poutine. Correct. We all love melted cheese, Kurt. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, you point. can go with both. I have a oh, suggestion to you. You know you can get uh, sweet potato fries with cheddar cheese? Look that up. Uh, question number two, you're up one nothing. <laughs> Who will finish the top three for StarCraft at Lean ETS? Oh, better be right. Top three... Uh, before you answer... Of course, Slash. Be Slash before, you be answer, before you answer the one, two, three, if in fact you get this correct, if we get to March 3rd, the finals, and you get this correct, I will retroactively go and change the leaderboard to give you five bonus points. Oh, that's interesting. So Those internet points, man. Uh, I'm, it. I'm gonna go third place. Let me also remind <laughs> you that go. I am taking place, taking part, sorry, in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go third place, slush, second place, Alex et moi. Ooh, good choice. Good guy, good guy. We like him. And first place... I should go with John, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm in platinum. I'm gonna go I, with I uh, Jigsaw from... Uh, yeah, it's a toss-up. John or Jig. They're both John sir. Jig. <laughs> Jig big? Was that your it's answer? A... No, Jig. I'm, oh, Jig, I'm go sorry. With, I thought you said uh, Jig. Jig size from uh, Tinkling Spree, but it's a hard choice between you and... Uh, we also like Jake. He did just win the uh, ski Skizzle Skizzle Skizzle. Skizzle. Yeah. Oh, over that the weekend, sack. and he was at WCS uh, in ASL. I was hoping for Jake Bake because I'm a really big Jake Bake fan, but I will accept Jake. Uh, so make uh, those man, answers. Jake Bake's gonna be somewhere in the top five, okay. if you ask me. Fair uh, you just got yourself an extra half point. For that, so. <laughs> uh, Frank, make sure to write those down so we can go over that on March third and give him the point okay. correct. Yep, We're I got it. it. I'm, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. All right, so uh, that was what one and a half points. You're up two and a half points after two questions. You're doing quite well. Question number three: Lane ETS can't be the name anymore. You're being sued by a team of Lionel Hutzes. 
come up with a better name that must include the word beaver or the word moose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it would be easier to go with sponsor name, but that's not moves. You want to destroy the event with that. I mean, it's, it's done after you that. Wouldn't, you wouldn't so go to the Beaver the, Open? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Beaver Land Open. Yeah, it sounds great. The BLO, yeah, the Blow. Beaver Land Open. Are you going to the Blow? <laughs> See, it markets itself, really. You, you don't have to do anything. Is it too late to make to get BLO.com? The, the Moose Beaver Land. Yeah, it sounds good. The Moose Beaver Land. The Moose Beaver Land. Uh, that is correct. And you get a point for that. Uh, you're up three and a half. Three and a half. Uh, question number four, and I want you to be as honest as possible. Tell me the truth. How much did Nick and Frank pay you to cast at Land ATS? <laughs> Wow. Oh, you said you never that's, tell. Uh, that's confidential. I mean, it's my <laughs> contract. I can say it was something like in the five numbers. I mean, it cost a lot of money. Are you saying it's the seventeen thousand dollar prize pool came directly from Nick and Frank? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was supposed to be thirty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for the check, guys. Oh, oh man! Send me the check. Uh, Nick and Frank are in fact cheap bastards. Uh, you get a point. You are up four and a half. Question yeah, number five. Start. Question five. Uh, most you've paid to get into a Habs game. <laughs> uh, I went last uh, last week, and uh, it cost me. Uh, Eighty dollars, but the most expensive it was uh, in the red zone. So something like two hundred dollar for a ticket. Yeah, that'll put your bank um, account. Two hundred, yeah. But I never went to a scalper, so a reseller. So I paid the, the real price. It was something like two hundred dollar. Wow, you are for an a match man. during the playoff. Oh wow. You are committed, and uh, I'm also a Habs fan, so you get a point for that. You're up 5 nothing. Uh just want to remind you that you do have a perfect game going. I have no reservations with jinxing that by telling you you have a perfect game going. Because uh, <laughs> as the host, I don't want you to get a perfect game. <laughs> Question number six. You're up five and a half points, William LeFrancois. Number six. What was the worst misclick in your life? Was misclick. It was not in a game. Uh, oh, one time I sent an email, and I mean, the person to who I sent the email, we made fun of him. It was on a mailing list, and by error, I sent everything we said to him. Oh. <laughs> That's a bad misclick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I got that email, and I was <laughs> so uh, minus one. There goes your perfect game. <laughs> Five and a half points going into question number seven. Uh, rounding up to the to the very hour, the number of hours you have spent playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, I could go back on my expire account, but too much time. It's over two hundred hours for sure. Three hundred hours. I don't know. Nick, I play. A lot of time. Uh, mine? Oh, dude, it wasn't even hours. It was in days. Yeah, <laughs> I think I had like 72 days. Ah, so that's hard. Right. <laughs> it's horrible. It is. Oh, uh, man. All right, uh, you aren't as bad as Nick then, so I will give you the point. I just want you guys to know, Nick only looks like Smeagol because he spent those 72 games in it. Wow. <laughs> it was my precious. <laughs> question number eight. Uh, you're up six and a half points. This is a very important question. Um, so I do need a, a true answer on this. Uh, downtown bar or super sex? <laughs> well, super sex, why not? <laughs> All right. I have That's been a reason why you're in Montreal. <laughs> I have been to super sex before, but I heard really good things about downtown bar or downtown club. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, you go to the boat in the same line. That's Correct. Like, that was the answer we were looking for. That is the two-point <laughs> bonus. Uh, you are up eight and a half. 
you have <laughs> going into question nine. Question number nine. Currently, Montreal is the king of lands with land ETS. Take this opportunity to crap all over Toronto, Vancouver, and the rest of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a tough. One. Yeah, that's rough, man. <laughs> that's rough. Oh, are you testing him? Are you testing him? Yeah. Look at that smile on John's face. <laughs> you know, you know what? So you want me to move the event to Vancouver, if I understand correctly? No, no, no. I'm saying you guys are the king of lands, so that gives you the opportunity to crap all over. Uh, other cities, Toronto, Vancouver, <laughs> uh, Halifax. So I'm giving you the opportunity to just badmouth uh, oh, the rest of the country. Uh, you, okay, you okay. Well, you know, I'm gonna say uh, Toronto because they beat us in our last game at Bell Center. So. I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm gonna crap on <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> That's fair. You're crapping on the Leafs, not right. on uh, <laughs> our uh, Leafs. You heard it here first a big piece of dookie on Toronto. <laughs> 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 and also Moncton. John, you're mad St. John doesn't have a hockey team. <laughs> Actually, we do. They're the St. John Sea Dogs, and they won the Memorial Cup two years in a row, Frank. So, uh, what else you got? I've never heard of them. Oh, really? Do you know the St. John Flames, who won the Calder Cup about in their last year of existence? They the Cal I can go Flames. on. John, lightning round isn't about you, man. Question number 10, the final question. Uh, you got a point for that, because screw the Maple Leafs. Uh, you're up <laughs> nine and a half points uh, going into the last question. With using only the names of famous people, so actors, um, esports stars, music singers, you have to hype Land ETS using only the names of famous people. Okay, only famous people? <laughs> well, I can say if you come to Land ETS 2013, you're gonna be able to talk with two famous people, I mean, Nick and Frank. <laughs> yeah. That is correct. Well, that's the good answer. That's for I like 100 that. points. Oh, John, I really, you know. I feel bad that that happened. Uh, minus nine and a half points <laughs> for <laughs> plugging Nick and Frank. Um, wow, you made it so far. Is there, a, yeah. is there a who wants to be a millionaire loser sound? I wish I could. <laughs> we could just do the prices right. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, that's not it. All right, I'm not going to take those points away because you were throwing a fantastic event uh, very close to my home, so I am forever grateful because I get to spend time with the people that I hate most, uh, Frank and Nick, as well as the rest of the volunteers from Esports Canada, and meet uh, you and everyone else in Montreal and all across this great country who love esports just as much as I do. So I will give you the full 10 points as much as it hurts me. So congratulations, uh, William LaFrancois. Well, you... You don't get you number one. You made a good choice, John, because I could remove your ticket at the moment <laughs> on the website. Yes. I mean, my mouse is on the button to just I never, your I ticket. never even thought of that. And I know you have a history of misclicking, so I, I didn't want to test it. Yeah, that. exactly. Uh, it's not a misclick. Oh, man. <laughs> you made a wise decision. Well played, William. Well played. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, you do qualify for the uh, Lightning Round Tournament of Champions at the end of 2013. Uh, so oh. congratulations for that. Thank you, thank you. And I think that's about it for the show. I know on the rundown we do have two more things. Let's skip and do the Toronto. Did I spell Toronto Toronto? Toronado? You spelled it Toronado. <laughs> Toronado. <laughs> Toronado. Oh. Yeah, I it's screw the, you, uh, Toronto. Another misclick. I dropped uh, a key. Oh, another key. Another hot oh, key. Man. From Toronado. Guys. Open your browsers. Get that in there quick. Uh, we can we can do outros with stuff that's happening, of course. But uh, it's up uh, to you, John. No, you, you lead us. Away. Plug that real quick, uh, William, if you don't mind sticking around just to hear us babble for yeah, five minutes. No problem. Uh, yeah. um, get used to it. You're ready for a whole weekend of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have the two v two Toronto League of Legends tournament coming up. Uh, Nick, I'm really hoping that you have the dates for that because I'm going to spend two seconds clicking to find it. There. Oh, it is. the dates for the League of Legends land. Saturday, actually... February 16th. You just got me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know why I'm on the show. <laughs> what about Starport City, John? Uh, well, let me plug the time and place for the other one. All right, all right, or Nick, sorry, you, you can do it. You're in Toronto, Nick. I'm not plugging. What Starcraft? What? No, you're plugging the League of Legends. Alter. 
Okay, so the League of Legends, it's a 2v2 tournament. It's going to be hosted at Net Effect, which is at 9 Isabella Street. So Isabella and Young. Uh, this is in Toronto. Toronto. Yes, it is. In Toronto. And it's going to be, as John said, it's going to be this weekend, Saturday on the 16th. And I think we're going to be starting around... I think it's... What, what are you laughing at? What are you I laughing was at? laughing at the chat. Uh, William was showing his drink, and they're all like, Yeah, balls in my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, man. go ahead, go ahead. Okay, you're, sorry, you're sorry. Well. Your yeah, English yeah. is improving, but keep going. I, I, I try, I keep practicing. Um, Sign-ups begin at 11 a.m. It's going to be $20 per team, so team of twos, and then the tournament's going to begin at 12 o'clock. Awesome. Bring your own mouse and keyboard if you want. Yeah, it should be a really cool event, guys. Uh, as well, for anyone in St. John or the surrounding area, um, that's in New Brunswick, for any of you ignorami. <laughs> I'll be hosting uh, the Starport City Arena 2 at Gamezilla St. John at 77 Catherwood Street on March 16th. Uh, Sign-ups and warm-ups start at 10 a.m. and then the tournament starts at 11. I'm going to be doing 1v1 for Bronze, Silver, Gold for StarCraft, uh, Heart of the Swarm, as well as a tournament for Plat Diamond Masters, and then a 2v2 tournament as well that has no level restrictions. So. Uh, grab the best person you know at StarCraft and leech off them and win a 2v2 tournament. Um, it's going to be a ton of prizes. We're going to be streaming MLG that's going on that weekend as well, as well as the games that we're playing, and Games Alone is going to give us a bunch of prizes, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So if you're in New Brunswick, do that on March 16th. It's sort of a uh, hot launch uh, weekend. Your events in St. John sound really, really good, John. Yep. Thank I'm you. I was impressed. You're doing good things, brother. Doing Thanks, good things. Bye. I try. Maybe um, I'll take this uh, just a couple seconds to promote who we have on next week. Um, next week we have Matthew Can and Tom Swanson. They're two of the three owners from a website called Fantasy Esports. Nice. Mm -hmm. So um, what we want to do is we're going to have them on not only to talk about their website. They're Canadian guys, by the way. Um, but they just started this as a labor of love because they wanted to say, hey, if we can do fantasy sports, why can't we do fantasy esports? So if you've ever wanted to compete with your friends and do some esports fantasy teams, um, that's what you should do. You should go to fantasy esports. I think it's .com. Uh, we're going to have them on, and me, John, and Nick are going to start doing a recurring theme with this. Uh, so you guys will have to tune in next week to see uh, what challenges await us. Um, but it should be really exciting, and we're really looking forward to it. And losers get punished. Yeah, losers. Nick gets punished, basically. N no, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I missed that entire like last two minutes because I was responding to someone in chat. Are you saying that we're going to have a fantasy off with the next tournament? Yeah. No, well, just it, we're going to sign up for the fantasy teams, and then whoever gets the least points of the three of why, why am I telling you this now? You wait till next week. Wait, wait till next week, guys. Okay. Wait till next week. Fantastic. I can't wait because I, was, I was super hyped when uh, Fantasy Esports launched, and I remember playing uh, for the first couple of uh, tournaments I had for MLG, and I finished middle of the pack. Nice. Average. Big. Average, John. <laughs> I was super average. I was super hyped. Speaking of hype, uh, you do see announcement of announcements. I'm very confused as to how much we're actually allowed to tell because it's kind of been uh, messy in there, the past. There's a Reddit post. There we is a Reddit post. Give them that. All right, fantastic. We can give them that. Yeah, Send me the link to that, and then I can. It's with Lanny TS, so it's oh, a no, great right. announcement. <laughs> oh, there's a tantalizing teaser. It's an announcement uh, of an announcement of an announcement. I just know on Wednesday we do have a huge blast of media and videos and whatnot going out, but for now we do have the loose details going on that Esports Canada is organizing a national tournament uh, to eventually send someone to Korea uh, for a tournament happening in uh, November, I want to say. Uh, but we have partnership with a ton of lands from across Canada. Um, we're still waiting on one or two to be confirmed, but one of them that we do have confirmed is Land ETS. So thank you to Willem, William LaFrancois. So if you go to Land ETS in March, uh, we're going to be taking the top three from there to qualify um, towards our tournament. And that's going to be happening at Lands all across Canada throughout um, the spring and summer. So all, all those details are online. It'll be on our website uh, right now. You'll see the link there in I chat. Put, yeah, and, and it's on Reddit and post. Twitter and whatnot. But Wednesday, we have a lot of media coming out. I'm working on a video right now. I just finished the draft of it. <laughs> last night around like 1 a.m. so I didn't have a chance to get it finished so the intake because of me and I apologize I like I liked it John no problem I also want to mention that CDP uh, I don't even know how to say your last name G virus you've been making me laugh this whole time I like you 
I hope you come back next week. It's an <laughs> announcement. An announcement and an announcement. Oh my god, it's the yeah button. I'm gonna press it. Yeah! Uh, Frank, can you drop a key or two in the chat? People yeah, still I'll do that right now. One second. So guys, yeah, we have... Uh, of keys, so... so. We haven't <laughs> dropped anymore. These Everybody. keys are on behalf of both Lane ETS and Esports Canada. This is just for you guys, the fans, for supporting Esports and doing everything that you do. So there's a key for you guys. Uh, hopefully somebody grabs that and plays some awesome games. And, That's the um, most dumb heart ever. Yeah, we love you guys. <laughs> and John, another? Should we do another? Uh, yeah, for sure. Toss that out there. Yeah, so guys, we have uh, the announcement on the announcement. Uh, stay tuned. You can follow our post on Reddit as well. Follow our Twitter and Facebook just to keep up to date. On Wednesday, you'll see a huge drop of graphics and press releases and, and video content as well yeah. as we get more things in place. But uh, it is a go, and we've got participation from all across the country, and we're super, super excited about it. So get out and participate in your um, province, and hopefully we can send you to Korea uh, near the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Word. Uh, William, any last words from you before we sign off? Uh, well, as I said before, thanks to all the sponsors. ETS, Cisco, CIPC, Corsair, Plantronics, Gamecom, Asus, Music Plus, Missionet, Cooler Masters, Mad Cats, Twitch, Balls, Package Fans, <laughs> Team Geek, More Music, Montreal Street Fighter, Techno Production, Extreme Gaming, Quebec, all the department at the ETS University. And I have a little announcement. Uh, I think people should follow our Facebook website because we're gonna announce something soon concerning LAN ETS 2013. Uh, let's say we have an auditorium with a stage and 300 seats, so who knows what could happen in there. Snap. So follow the social media and you will know is this is this that thing where you ask me and Nick to come and sit on a stage and 300 people could ask us questions is that what it is <laughs> and then we dance no yeah, yeah no, it's, I, it's more awesome than that oh <laughs> yes yes. Awesome than that. yes you've entirely redeemed yourself from the lady. this has been the worst anyway, guest appearance ever of all my points from the game so oh I'm he doesn't gonna... need anything more oh man <laughs> i have all the points uh, oh man, John, you gave him too much. What? Wait a second. What's gonna happen in the auditorium? I mean, Frank and uh, Nick, they're gonna be in the auditorium. No. So, no. Oh, oh my God. Happen. My mind's this blown. This is an ounceception right here. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Nick Maybe shit is will parents. come this week. <laughs> Make sure to follow our website, Facebook, and uh, thanks for having me on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So much, and we are very, very excited to see you in March. And uh, the first round is most definitely on me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> At the Here's super sex. <laughs> At super sex. The round of strippers. We are all <laughs> big. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to our guest tonight, William Execute Le Francois. I've been your host at Quinn of the Net. You can follow me on Twitter as well. Follow my hosts who roast the most toast. At ESC Jill, be in and at ESC Song. And gentlemen, last words from you. I am going to drop a key right now. Oh, Take it. snap. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Oh, 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 man. And ESC Song, here's last words. Were you just trying to beatbox? That was really bad. Don't ever... <laughs> that was your thanks for um thanks for joining us guys thank you william for joining us and we are so excited to be there at land ets keep following esports canada keep following us for all this amazing content and stuff and i love all you guys also nick does uh beatbox training 30 dollars an hour if you guys are interested i do coaching <laughs> <laughs> Guys, remember to follow at Land ETS on Twitter for that announcement, as well at esports underscore Canada on Twitter, facebook.com slash esports Canada, and our website, esportscanada.ca. You can watch this VOD uh, pretty much tomorrow morning. I'll have it up, youtube.com slash esports Canada TV. Shout outs in the chat to BSG Driaz. I had a lovely dinner with you tonight at Vito's. Uh, Moosey Taran, I am Believe, uh, Go Fire Man, Silidix. Uh, Cyberactive Rush and who else? Cy, Cy Foxy. Cy Foxy. Yeah, you're fantastic. And Hydralist TV. CDP. CDP. 
DJ McTwist. Yes, DJ McTwist. Thank you, Matthew, for having us here for Schizo Cup over the weekend. And to Hydralis TV, thank you. You've been our number one fan up to this point, and that's why I made you mod tonight. So, and guys, if you see this at the end, come up and say hi.